Welcome folks, for those of you tuning in, coming to you live from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I am at the uh, Eastern States Alice Chalmers Collectors Association Annual Tractor Show and Swap Meet, which is being held today and tomorrow at the Williams Grove at One Steam Engine Hill, Mechanicsburg, PA. And I think I picked the right time to start because one, they're doing tractor pulls and we got the steam locomotive going, coming back from doing rides over here because they are doing uh, steam steam train rides as well so we'll try to get that we're gonna do a walk around here and show you what we got going on here got lots of orange <clears throat> and I am not alone oh hey there's coal cracker what's going on I am not alone, actually. I have a special guest that met me here from Altoona. Whoops. Yeah. So we got Dan with us. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and take a walk around. Sorry about shakiness. Again, I don't have a gimbal, so I'm using my tripod. So that way I can uh, set up, set it up wherever, you know, some points here. <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead and take a walk around and look at the uh, display area first. Cole Cracker says, hey Dan. <laughs> this was a spur of the moment deal. Jennifer P, hello. Um, <coughs> excuse me, this is a spur of the moment thing. Um, Obviously, I don't have any of my tractors here. You would think, though, with all these sitting here. <laughs> but no, I don't have any of mine here. Um, maybe next year. We'll see, because I know the this club was formed from another club. It was a long story. I don't want to get into it. But uh, I was a member of that club before and went to the shows where they used to have it down in the uh, York area. So now they are uh, working on a deal of keeping it at this location from here on out, which would be nice to have an actual location. So here's a B10 here set up for pulling. It's got weights underneath of it and then the, uh, what I call the wheelie bars. <laughs> Some really nice tractors here. Did a walk around already to see what was going on and what they have, so. We even got a Deutsch Alice here to the left there. These are the Alice Chalmers built tractors right here, and then the rest of them are all simplicity manufactured tractors. I don't see a B10 like the one your friend gave me, Chris. There's D style, slightly newer than the one that we got from uh, from him so this is basically what that is but it's got the different decals on it and this is one of the original ones the B1 and this is one of the first of the simplicity uh, riding tractors from the 60s I believe early 60s had the single headlight on it there's a year on it there's no year on it it's a 725, supposed to be 725, so this is one of the first ones. No, I haven't messed with it yet. I haven't gotten it running yet. You guys will let me know how the audio is working out. These two are actually restored. A drone picture, an overhead aerial picture of the clothes. These look really nice restored. Members out here between the tractor rows, the WCs and the model row. If you could gather between the tractors. I don't know. I'm kind of. I like how they look restored, per, but I'm also picture. more about keeping them preserved to how they look. You know, the how they looked over the years. There's JP. What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Subtitle Dan says hi. <laughs> So 
So we actually uh, checked the uh, weather last night before I came out here. We're getting lucky with some uh, nice skies here. It's hot though, that is. That it is. Um, they were calling for some rain throughout the afternoon, but so far it's holding out. And now the sun is out. <laughs> he said, silent wave. Silent wave. <laughs> silent wave. <laughs> So yeah, I'm using the wireless mic setup, so uh, hopefully that's I'm sounding good. Hey, there's Matt. What's up, Matt? Yeah, we're right up in. Uh, where, did, where are we again? Mechanicsburg. They got a drone flying. They're gonna get a uh, drone group shot. Now I kind of wish I did bring stuff to display this is uh, a lot of fun this is actually right here the d21s these i like these this is on my wish list for someday it's a big tractor for its time what's that yeah here's another restored one with a straight straight pipe stack on it v10 Oh, this is that pulling one we were just looking at. Never mind. <laughs> we just saw the other yeah, side of it. Angle. Yeah, different angle. And there are, the feature tractor is actually the WC, which is the one, the big one that I have. I can show you over here. There's a couple of them mixed in in the group here. We've got some W, you got WD-45, a C, D-17 down here. 175 another d21 restored a 160 i'll have to show you there's a really cool one over here there's a miniature d21 that somebody custom built so it's a miniature version of this we'll get over to that that's pretty neat yeah see this is this is fresh out of the field <laughs> hey lisa fresh out of the field and brought to the show and then you have the ones that are uh, restored and there's a D17, D19. These I think are going back to the 60s if I'm correct, if I remember correctly. And then the WD45, a D15. seen that before getting a warning saying the device is too hot uh, all right well we'll see what happens hopefully I don't lose you guys if I do I'll start over again here's a WC like mine of course this one's restored but this is the actual correct color mine's more of this orange because of the repaint that was done in the 1980 and I got the wrong decal my I got a Alice Chalmers up here when it's supposed to be in blue script down here like this but this is this is a 38 mine's a 37 but this is pretty much identical to mine just a lot nicer <laughs> Another D17. They have uh, they have a blacksmith shop going here. Uh, there's displays over there with tractors in use, showing different different displays going on. Uh, there's a flea market area, which we still got to get to. He's taking pictures. <laughs> There's a little, little Alice. I know that guy. I remember him from the last time. Here's a look at the blacksmith shop.
over here is uh, what they call the trading post. People have stuff for sale over here. Different tractor parts and, and whatnot. Actually, I have one of these too, but it's a, this is a 14 horse, mine's a 16 horse. <clears throat> Over here, like I said, they had some uh, working displays going. They were thrashing, and then they have a rock crusher over here that was running off of a tractor similar to this. This is the old style belt PTO setup. So the tractor sits here and runs the belt to the implement over here and does what it needs to do. Same with that one. They had a tractor sitting right there earlier and they were running, running that thing. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for tuning in. We'll definitely do that. It's turning out to be a nice day, nice sunny day now. Sweat is pouring off of me. <laughs> so we'll head up this way. They also have food. They got a concession stand over here with food. And then they have a, a grove over here where you can sit down and eat at in the shade. So like I said, anybody who wants to come and check this out, if you're in the area, uh, it's going until 9 o'clock tonight. And they have more tomorrow going on. So come on out and check it out. So here's the area where you can sit down and eat. And we'll get a, since the locomotive's over here, we'll go take a walk down and check that out quick. There's more stuff set up over here too. I didn't even get down this way yet. There is a campground here too on the other side of this, uh, these trees here that you can camp out here. So if you're interested in showing, uh, you can actually get a camp, uh, yeah, campsite and camp out. Not sure. You said you think they're twenty bucks. I'm not sure. Thanks. So we're thinking that the train rides are twenty dollars, but we're not sure. We're gonna see if we can get you a price on that. Oh, shame Nick's not watching. There's a uh, Ma Pa boxcar, wooden boxcar, and an old crane. Two. They got two different uh, Pennsylvania caboose cabooses. There's a wooden one over here. And uh, the one that's actually hooked to the train right now. Which, that one's steel. So you can see it right over there. Uh, it's, it's an AC club, but I mean, they are definitely welcome to other brands. I mean, it's, it's primarily AC that's here, but I did see one Matthew Ferguson uh, so far. And there was some John Deere, right? Can you see some John Deere on the trailers? I'm sure there's a, a mix. I did see a Ford over with the pools, but we'll get over there. All right, Matt, thanks for tuning in. It was good seeing you. Well, seeing your, your lettering, words, <laughs> text, whatever you want to call it. Built now tuna. So that's probably a real Pennsylvania locomotive. We'll have to look this up and get some information on it. Uh, set the tripod up and give you guys give my hand a break here for a minute. Three and under are free. Well we can at least answer that question for you.
any gravely. Not that I saw yet. All the garden tractors so far, the only uh, non like orange one that I saw was the Matthew Ferguson and then the, the Green Boy Salad. So I haven't seen any gravely yet. But if you want to bring one of yours out, bring yours out. Come on out. They'll be here tomorrow. Six bucks. Yeah, okay, that's, 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 that's a bargain. So to ride the train is six dollars a person. Under three are free. There you go. Should we take a ride? You guys want to go for a ride? Thanks, Jay. Thanks for stopping in. You enjoy the rest of your day too. Hey George, you picked the right time. I'm at a tractor show looking at a steam locomotive. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's no steam tractors here. Waiting on the uh, boat here. Who wants to go for a ride on the train? Or should we just keep walking? Hey, Blake. I'm using a wireless microphone. Cut off on me? Cut off on me. Yeah, that's probably a switcher. It's built in Altoona. How's that? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Get the Verizon commercial going on here. Can you hear me now? Nobody voted, we missed this train. Like there's just some people in the caboose and that's it. Hey Jenny. The train was too small. <laughs> well, for this, for the grounds here, it's just right because all they do is go out and then back up. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll go back to looking at tractors now. 
Uh, give me a second. Can you hear me better now, now that that's gone? second here I'm putting sliding the tripod legs up here that's probably the noise you're hearing if you're hearing it all right so where are those steam locomotives at or uh, steam tractors there's a John Deere all right so we got better sound all right the train was too loud it was drowning me out Oh, eh, yeah, they got a couple of them. There's some speeder cars right there. Three of them. And then they got this nice shed to keep the locomotive in. So there's their tank car back there. Oh, wow, there's a whole grove over here full of tractors. Yeah, right? There's an old style bail. Uh, Hey Baylor. <laughs> Dan found water. Big kid found something to play with. <laughs> Ooh, another caboose back there. Yeah, a bunch of train related things back here. This must just be like uh, stuff for the grounds. This isn't probably, obviously, not for the show. There's a John Deere. It looks like a, what is that? I can't see it. My glasses, sunglasses on. Oh, what is that guy? Looks like a Ford. On my, no, that's a case. That is a case. Yeah, so this is probably grounds, maintenance, tractors. You have John Deere A. Another one hiding back here, too. It's a farm all. And a case right here. And they got a full fledged salt mill. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's cool. Nice. So obviously they do other events and stuff here. It's not just this show. What's that say? Williams Grove Historical Steam Engine Association in keeping steam alive and interest growing since 1959. Nice. Man, this tripod is heavy carrying it around like this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now they're running some displays here. I guess the tractor pulls are done. truck looking thing right there that looks interesting there's some more equipment sitting here oh here's the steam tractors it's or no this isn't a tractor this is something else not sure what this is but this is uh doesn't leave this area type of display we got the wooden fence out here and everything. Yeah. Oh, there they're cutting wood. <laughs> yeah, 
got stuff hidden everywhere here. <laughs> Minneapolis Moline engine here. There's an old case. Oh, and this is it's a grater, an old Caterpillar grater. That's that. what I was just saying. What's this truck looking thing? It's a Caterpillar. Look at that old script too. That is cool. Actually wavy like a caterpillar. Is that the Ford case? No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's case. Okay. There's okay. Here's a steam tractor down here. Be neat to see this out running around right now. Alright, well, I guess back to the show area. <laughs> That's everything over here. They even have stuff over here for sale. This guy's got a uh, trailer full of tractor toys, which I do need to check that out. Oh, look at that. A couple old Mac cab overs up there on the hill. Like probably 60s, the two to the right, probably the 60s, and then the the uh, the bigger one in the middle to the left. That's going to be 80s, 70s, 80s. Okay, so I just discovered why you guys are having such a hard time hearing me. My mic got unplugged. Hopefully that's better now. We even have anybody here anymore? Anybody chatting here? Showing six people watching. Am I boring you that much? <laughs> yeah. Take a peek over here. Yeah, so here's a little, little Alice. It's a B207. And then he's got toys here for sale. Oh, yeah, okay. And then he got some inside yet, too. A little hard to see with the sunlight. walk around over here and then uh, see what we got. A sea of orange. <laughs> they do have a um, what's that? Uh, that's a sea. Alright. So they have one here that they're auctioning off. I'm not sure if that's it or not. They have an Alice Chalmers sea that they're going to be auctioning off. And look, train's back. What? Oh, okay. So the one they're auctioning off is up here. Grandpa Rails, what's up? Yes, they are cool. Sea of Orange. Since you're just popping in, I actually, if you look at this one right here in the middle of the screen, this is a 38, but I have a 37 just like this. Just not in as nice a condition. <laughs> Unrestored, original condition. Unfortunately, I don't have it here today. I have to do some work to it to get it out to shows. But that will happen in due time. So it's that one. I don't know, they're still doing tractor pulls over here, so maybe we can go take a peek at that. Alright, so this is the one they're going to be auctioning off today. Oh, the pedal pool guy's here. You'll, you guys will, if you saw my video 
from before where Jake and Becky were there, there's the, the pedal tractors that we were riding. So yeah, this is the one they're gonna be auctioning off. There's a John Deere right there. See a nice uh, shady spot over here. Maybe we'll go stand under the shade and let you guys watch a couple pools. Bear with me a second, guys. Let me get you set up. I have that problem too, Grandpa Rails. I can't spell half the time either, <laughs> so don't feel bad. <laughs> Next out, it looks like we'll be looking for Ron Ruddy out of Dillsburg on a Farmall Super C. And this will be our 3,500 pounds, 6,000 an hour, class. All right. There you go. Watch some tractor pulls. Watch some tractors pull. That's a heck of a pulling sled there. Yes, Bo and Luke definitely would like the orange trackers. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I actually thought about doing, I have an extra hood for one of my garden tractors, and I saw somebody had done one before on Facebook years ago where they painted it up to look like the General Lee. So I was thinking about doing that with my spare hood and just putting it on one of my tractors for a show. Put the General Lee on it, put the flag on the, on the top of it. And I think that would be be cool, at least for the people that enjoy it anyway. So we got a farm all right now. Yep, we got a. Uh, hey, by two o'clock, everybody get Can't tell what that is yet. <laughs> get your hands out of your pockets and bid. You guys want to do an online virtual bid on a house, Tom or C? <laughs> you just got to come pick it up. Surprised I didn't do what yet? Pull? I don't have any tractors here. Yeah, I picked a good shady spot. Make sure this thing stays plugged in now. There's very few shade, shady areas right now with the, like the showgrounds and stuff behind us. It's all in the sun right now. When I first got here, it was overcast, so it wasn't bad. It was just humid, but now that the sun's out, it's getting brutal. Looks like a D19 coming up now. D17 or D19 or D14. Oh, the hood, yeah. Well, like I said, I, I have it, so I can do it whenever. All right, the D17 come up, coming up. There's another. Another Mac cab over there, old one. Facing that way. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and in our 3,500 pounds, uh, I guess it's a four mile an hour class. Right over here to my left is the uh, scale for weighing in. Looks to me like first go to Jeff Line, uh, second to Ron Ruddy, 
IH pulling up now. Farm all just rolled off it. And of course, first place in our 3,500 six mile an hour uh, is going to go to Rod once again. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's summertime, so it's that time of year where we complain it's too hot. Just thinking, like a couple months, we'll be complaining it's too cold when it's winter time. <laughs> Just how it goes. Looks like we're going to move into our 4,500 pounds. Uh, okay, 4,500 pounds, four mile an hour class. Well, I got a nice breeze blowing on me right now. Feels good. Yeah, I agree with you there. A lot easier to work on the older stuff. Checkbook? What's a checkbook? <laughs> Does anybody use them anymore? I can't tell you the last time I wrote a check. <laughs> Yeah, fan. Actually, I don't need a fan hat right now. I'm okay right when I'm standing with this tree here. Here, I got a nice breeze blowing. Feels really good. That sled is something. Woo! Pop the wheelie. There we got a two cylinder John Deere general purpose coming up next. Oh yeah, tractor. Where was that at? That was a fine run there for Teddy on the B-17, it's 245.2 feet. Looks like it's off B-17. Certainly glad to have him here this week for the Alex Palmer Features. Yeah, almost. That was a good distance. I didn't hear them what they what they announced. Look at the control station on that sled. Where the operator's sitting. He's got a steering wheel, he's got all kinds of cool stuff up there. That's one you can just hitch up to a, a semi and just pull it down the road the way it is. Yeah, it's a John Deere chugging. <laughs> oh, okay. Sun's kind of hiding a little bit right now.
Yeah. <laughs> That'd be something. Live stream from the sled. <laughs> You're in my shot. Tell that's got a gas. It sounds like a gas engine in that thing. Now this is 247.9 feet, and he just stretched that mark up by about another two feet. I guess this is a four mile an hour draft. Uh, so at the end of the pool. And that's it up there, 4.1 or more, disqualified. And so we all understand that. That's the same rule that uh, I guess we used here at Shippensburg a few weeks ago. Here comes the next one in the shop. The 4.2, you're disqualified. But again, that board is leaning over 4.0, you are disqualified. Yep, and it's sit right in front of us. I guess we're going to move. Now, with the 4.1, you are disqualified. Yeah. Try to stay somewhat in the shade. There we go. Hey, Frank Benning coming out. And of course they moved. They decided to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, that's a WC. Oh, it's a styled WC. my shot <laughs> never fails <laughs> uh, I guess the only way to keep people out of my shots is to go to like down there next to the guardrail <laughs> then I'll be in the sun <laughs> when it comes back out No, I'm not going to get on the sled. <laughs> That's a four mile an hour class, is what they said, yeah. Ooh, comes the Deutz Alice. The only green one, well, the only lime green one in the show. Of course, if I'd had mine here, it'd probably have three more. <laughs> nope, definitely not HO scale. You're right. <clears throat> okay, just this stretch that out. And there goes the train again. <laughs> everybody gets in everybody's shots. It's just inevitable. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice breeze. That's blowing up the back of my shirt. That feels good. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. More, more. <laughs> Ooh, here's a Deutz. It's not a Deutz Alice, but a actual German Deutz tractor. 
coming up over here. I could think of finer things to do, but this is exciting too, so we'll give you that. <laughs> Yeah, train pulls. <laughs> I've never seen a train pull a wheelie either. <laughs> I don't think you ever will. <laughs> if you do, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> Full pulls 300 feet, isn't it? Yeah, so. Well, yeah. so we're going to have Robert Oakley from up here, and I believe he's from Shippensburg on a farm all 340. Almost full pull, not quite. Few, few feet short. up now. They're the uh, same D-17s pulling up next. So I like the D-series too. They're, they're, they're nice. Of course, we want to take a, give a big shout out here to Porky for doing an exceptional job here setting this right up and shutting these guys down today. Give her all the onions. <laughs> yeah, they're using a 460 for the uh, roller right here. Farmall 460. Ooh, 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 we're chugging now. Bogging down. Still going. Day cab.
he stop he's still moving very very slow but he's still moving there it goes just saw the front end come off the ground hit the nitro yeah well it's not so much with pulling it's not so much about engine power it's about torque torque to your drive wheels and weight that's 232.4 and they tell me he just actually bought this tractor and I'll bet if he takes that thing home and puts some fresh gas in it some fresh spark plugs <laughs> I think he's going to do all right on it Oh. Next down, we're looking for Heather Thompson out of Anvil on another one of these fine looking Ellis Chalmers D17. There you go. Here comes here comes a hot rod. And the train's coming back again. Oh, how many of you remember the movie Short Circuit? Johnny Five has just arrived. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> it's like a rolling television studio, a local news channel. Again, it's right across the driveway where all the crowds gathered at. Two way plow on its sideways. Maybe you get down there and take that. Oh, they're out of Maryland, actually. What's that? Yep. See? Even women like to pull with their tractors. I didn't bring my trailer. Well, it's in the bed of my truck. Oh, looks like the auction's going. Better hurry up and get over there. <laughs> Place your bid. <laughs> All right, should we stay here and watch the uh, pulls or you want to go see what the tractor goes for? Go what the Alice Chalmers C goes for. Johnny Five is alive. Huh? Uh, nobody's answering yet. <laughs> Alright, well, you're all beat. I want to see what the sea goes for, so we're going to go watch the bidding on that. <laughs> Since nobody wants to answer. <laughs> oh, up to 300 now. At 400. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money to bid on. I'm a YouTuber, I don't make any money. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna bid? 
850. Went for 850. Yeah, Got. I was just flailing my arms a little bit. I hope they weren't uh, counting me. <laughs> I hope I didn't just win. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You guys didn't see the golf cart. I need me one of them. I got a quilt or something. Different tractors on it. Well, that's about average for them. All right, so there you have it. The tractor went for 850, which is about average for those, you know, being a C. They don't really get a lot of. I'm sorry. Did you get that tractor done? Yeah, I'm filming right now. Sorry. <laughs> it's 850. They sold it for 850. We'll do a little more walk around and probably wrap it up. Hey, Stephanie. Just missed the uh, the raffle of the Alice Chalmers C. Sold for 850. I feel like I've seen that before. It looks. Oop. My uh, swivel wasn't locked. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys want to see the pedal tractors? Pedal tractors are up here. <clears throat> Here's the pedal tractors. This one was custom made by uh, an Amish guy. That's actually a 716 hood, cut down, narrowed, and put onto this frame. So that's actually, that hood is actually from a garden tractor. The hood, the dash, uh, the grill, the front axle. I'm trying to think back of what he told me. So this part was custom made, but this all was uh, an actual hood from a tractor like that one we were just looking at over there. 
Same with the dash, it was all downsized to fit on here. This is the one that uh, Jake was riding in that other video that I posted a couple years ago. Oop, they're firing up some John Durr. <laughs> All right, guess we'll uh, head back this way. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to show you that custom D21 too. We didn't get to that yet either. Yeah, I also got this. Somebody has this camper here, done up in orange trim. It's pretty neat with Alice Chalmers logos on it. Next up, we're looking for Sunny Nichols on that John Deere. There's a G. If any of you know what a G is, this would have been. One of the earlier Alice Chalmers garden tractors, I think, I believe. It's got a rear mount engine and it's just 1949. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm zoomed all the way out. I oh, get a really nice setup here with this camper. This is pretty cool. Orange chairs, orange table, carpeting. <laughs> Even got the uh, what do they call that? I forget what they call that. Cornhole. Even got Alice Chalmers cornhole. <laughs> it's a heck of a setup there. Oh, this one's got eyelashes. It's an IB. Dan was saying earlier that he would want one with the. Uh, umbrella on it too to stay out of the sun not a bad idea <laughs> all right let's go see if this uh custom made d21 is still here Thank you to all who participated in the auction of the G-Tractor. Yep, still here. We're glad to so, here's a real one. <laughs> Gary Kyle Schoen Sr. is the uh, new owner. That's Gary Kyle Sr. So this is the full-size one. You can see here. Coming up. Down in the lower Size-wise, compared to me. Pavilion toward the you know, it's about this big. Run the Machine. Now we go to the mini me version. And then after the wheat is thrashed, we're looking to do some bailing again. Well, this is actually kind of neat. I saw this earlier and was like, that is really cool. It looks like they may have used a tractor, a different type of tractor, and custom made the sheet metal and stuff for it. But I don't know any information on it other than that. But it's being ready for bailing. We're going to go out there with the. So you can see, again, here's a size comparison. Here's Mini-Me, real deal. <laughs> and then there's another real one down there, another D21 down there. Here's another G. Registration and stuff is in that pole barn. And then they got uh, club uh, shirts and knickknacks and gifts and cups and mugs and all kinds of stuff in there with the club name on it available for purchase and here's a couple more wc's right here there's a couple of them mixed in the line going down the row looks like another ic right here you don't see many of these ib this one's an ib the industrial tractor 39 to 58 and they had a 1.9 liter or 2.1 liter four cylinder gas engine, three speed manual. Association for hosting their event here at Steam Engine Hill. We hope everybody's having a good time. Thoroughly enjoyable seeing all the demonstrations, all the tractors. There's even a uh, Chevy truck over here, one ton Chevy over. flatbed truck with uh, again next year and the logo the on the doors. Thank you again for all the hard Look like an old Alice Chalmers dealership type truck. We appreciate the support of our organization, and we hope we've with given a you scamper on it. On Have you ever seen one of these Thank before? You. A little rear engine. 
This is the first actual one that I've seen in person. Yeah, it's a nice truck. As much of a Ford guy as I am, I would I would rock this thing. <laughs> uh they don't I don't remember if they did have a tractor on there. I think there was an episode where they Uncle Jesse was using one, but I don't actually remember. I'd have to look back through the episodes to see. Are you back here subtitling? Okay. <laughs> you keep moving. Why are you moving? There. Why do you keep moving? <laughs> Trying to get you in the shot. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up with this uh, live stream. I'm probably going to do some footage of the recorded video, so that'll be a future video coming up. So I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in who joined us today. It was great having you in the chat. And uh, thank Dan for meeting me here. And we're definitely having a good time. So there's still, still some things that I want to go check out. i got to go check out the toys, <laughs> obviously. Definitely no drink. Got to, yeah, need a drink and I got to find a porta potty, which we've passed. I don't know how many of them, but I wasn't about to take you guys in there with me. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Anybody who's uh, in the chat, hopefully you gave the video a thumbs up or you will on your way out. And uh, anybody who's watching the replay, definitely appreciate your views. And uh, if you're new here and you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. Definitely appreciate that if you're not already subscribed. I'm almost to 1500, so. I'm getting there. I'm like six away. So we'd love to see 1500 soon. Definitely appreciate it. So we'll catch you all in the next one. And thanks for watching. How do you stop this thing?